Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this image carousel in Apple Motion. My project settings, as usual, I'm gonna use the Broadcast HD 1080. Then here on my Layers tab, I have a rectangle. So nothing fancy in here. This source group is 0, 0. So the position 0, 0. And the rectangle position is 0, 0. I will clone. Then the next step is clone this source group around eight times and then I will turn off this source group. After that, I will add some camera, then switch to 3D. Change this active camera to perspective. So we have this. If you don't have that one, you just click this or adjust this icon here. I just prepared the perspective. You can also use the top for convenience. This first group or first clone layer, let's adjust the Z position around, let's say 300. Then let's do the same for the last one. Let's set that to negative 300, but it will change later. So the next group, let's change the Y rotation. Let's rotate it something like negative 40 degree. Then adjust the X position and the Z position. Then let's do the same for the other one. Once you've done that, let's go back to perspective. And then we have this. Next step is let's group them. So select your groups, then command shift G. On this group, you can adjust the Y for the rotation. So let's reset that. Let's add some keyframe on this. Then after that, I will put them again in a group, command shift N. Then put that in a group. Then change the X position or X rotation. So this one will control the view of your group. Then the fun part is that let's make a new group, command shift N. And import all your media assets on this group. I just finished importing my media. Then I will turn that group, then my other group with the rectangles, let's rename it as carousel. Then inside this carousel, remember our rectangles, I will drag each media inside that group. I want you to select your media, then go to properties, then here on the transform, reset that. Currently, the transform properties of the media change after moving it to the group. So let's reset the properties of all the media. Let's reset that one. Okay, so let's select all each media again. Then command shift M. We will have this image mask. Here on the image mask, drag the clone layer. So let's adjust our perspective, something like this. Then your media files, you can adjust or reposition it here on the properties area. Okay, then if we go to our first frame and, and press play, we have now this image carousel in Apple Motion. Then the next step is let's change our camera from perspective to active. Then let's adjust again this one, something like this. And then let's make a new group, command shift N. Then import something like this. Then I will turn on my carousel. And then just adjust the Y position and also the Z position. So something like this. So let's move it a bit then tweak it around more. Then also let's add some behavior for our carousel. Let's add some paid in and paid out. And then we have this. So as you can see, my 
resolution change is just that I changed the snapshot of my project. Tweak it around more. Let's change the scale of our carousel so that it can fit the frame much better and the Y position. So we can also tweak the X more to be like this. So you can play around with the timing, of course. And you can also add some motion blur. So that's how to create this image carousel in Apple Motion. Thank you and see you again next time.